All right, we're getting pretty busy and I've got to do a startup and get a lot of stuff on the roof by myself because I don't have a helper today. So anyways, I just wanted to show a few things that I use um, to make that easier. So the first thing is I really like putting my rope in a rope bag. Uh, this, this is uh, like what an arborist would use. But the nice thing about this is that if you stack your rope inside the bag, you can pull it straight out without it tangling. And to put it back, again, like I said, you just stack it. You just basically go like that. Now, this is the hook I like to use when I'm uh, with another person and it just works quickly to hook onto things. But by myself, I'm gonna use this grappling hook because I got a lot of stuff and this works great for hooking things. The only thing that I did uh, really modification wise to this was I cut the tips off to make these jaws a little more straight and that helps you get under the handle of vacuum pumps and different things like that. So let me get this set up and then I'll show kind of how it works. Oh, I misspoke. I don't have that much to get on the roof, uh, but still easier to rope it up than carry it up. It's not really safe to carry things up, but you can see I just took that tool bag. So I'm going to bring that up first. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to share the buckets because the delivery truck showed up and there was just too many people standing around, but they're just as easy as the tool bag. Basically, you set them down close to the wall, flop the handle towards the wall, so you drop your hook down, and then you just swing it like that and lift it straight up. So this thing really does work great. I've used it on pretty much everything that you need to get on a roof, and it hooks everything perfectly. Uh, you gotta love installers. I had to really fight to get this door off because there's a um, union right here. God almighty, so I'm gonna knock a nacho. shutter speed this thing doesn't appear to be spinning but I promise it's spinning very fast all right it's like a glove now oh, hard to do with my hand. But anyways um yeah I, I just try to do stuff like this on startup because if we're gonna be working on this thing for years I just don't want every technician that comes out here to have to fight with it so yep uh, this is the life right here <laughs> Eh, maybe I'm too spoiled. But anyways, I really love this thing. It'll run like an entire day on this battery. And I don't need it today, but I've got it. And it wasn't a big deal to get it up on the roof. But where it really comes in handy is in attics. Man, just having a little bit of airflow, it's amazing how much better a hot attic will feel. So just wanted to throw this in there as something that absolutely love. I love this little guy. Oh, I was cooking in the sun and then it rained on me. <laughs> Figures. But, um, so the technique for getting your hook off, off of your stuff, you see this handle wants to fold down and trap that hook. But it's basically, you just want to do it in loops like that and it will, it will unhook itself hard to do that and hold the camera at the same time but it it works really well just try it man those return filter grills were so disgusting i already dumped that out in the dumpster but they were just nasty so bad that they were actually restricted anyways check out this uh self-cleaning feature on the milwaukee <laughs> 